Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy J Rail back with the Keep Day 100 show. All right, let's get the count the bag real quick. Yes, I am wearing a Dallas Cowboys hat. Yes, that's my team. Yes, we them boys. Yes, we suck this year. Yes, we got a new coach and we still suck. I, I mean, it, I mean, we just need a GM. Jerry, fire yourself the GM and go get a real GM and go get a defensive coordinator who can do some shit because this defensive coordinator we got right now, he ain't doing shit. He's trash. He sucks. Do whatever. If y'all got a tank, if y'all got a tank to go out there and get a top safety, go ahead and do it. I mean, right now, it won't hurt to go and get Earl Thomas and Clay Matthews because they're right now at home. I'm pretty sure doing nothing. They'll take the contract. Just go out there and do it. What's the worst that could happen? You guys will, will lose the Trevor Lawrence sweepstakes. You guys not going to top the Jets record because the Jets are going to go on 16. So they're probably going to get them. So that's that. All right. Now back to business. All right. Cyberpunk 2077, the most highly anticipated game of 2020. All right. Arguably, probably for the past what two, maybe three years since we heard about this game, people been waiting for it. All right. So the game was revealed yesterday. Well, not revealed. Reviewed yesterday for PC. The PC review, it, it, it got a good review. They're saying the downfall on that game right now is all the bugs and hiccups they're experiencing while playing it. Now, the developers of uh, the game did say that it will be a day one patch for that game. They're saying the patch will be as big as most, most games install downloads. So let's say you got a game that's 45 gigs off the bat before any kind of updates they're saying that this day one update for cyberpunk may be as big as that so not only will you have to have the space for the game itself but you have that extra space for that patch which is crazy i mean if you guys are like me you guys already have your two terabyte external hard drive for your xbox one you got another um, one terabyte external hard drive on your ps4 so you're good you're straight you got memory in your systems free you got memory in your hard drive free so you're good to go those of you who feel like you may not have enough space i suggest taking advantage of these sales right now perhaps go on amazon or best buy or target look into getting um, I'll say at least a one terabyte external hard drive if you don't have an external hard drive because it will come in handy. Trust me, it will come in handy because when it comes time when you're ready to get these new consoles, you're going to want to port that data. Or, so, yeah, you can use the cloud, but I mean, it's something I don't trust the cloud. At least I know if it's on an external hard drive, I know where it is. I know I have it. I can just boop, boop, pop it in. Now I'm good to go. All right. Alright, second thing I want to bring up. As many as you may some of you may know, some of you may don't know that you no know, PS4, not part not PS4, PS5 and the Xbox Series X. You have your 60 frame rates and you have your 120. But no, my fault, man, my fault, my fault, my fault, man. I should have did this my last video and brought it up, but just recently over the weekend i was talking to um, my sister's boyfriend he, he's a pc gamer he was saying yeah you know that the xbox the specs and everything is like it's a beast it's like a cheaper pc but it was like the downfall is the tvs um the tvs can't handle that it can't handle that 120 frames it only goes to the 60. i was like what i was like huh he was like yeah the tvs can't handle that they only go to 60 frames a second they only got 60 hertz for the um i looked it up i was like shoot that's one thing I miss. I miss that one. So, those of you who are gaming currently on a PS5 and or an Xbox Series X, and you're pretty much playing on the regular standard 4K television for the most part, that TV can only handle 60 hertz. That 60 hertz is only going to handle 60 frames per second. In order to achieve these games down the road, that's going to ha have 120. Um, right now, there's not that many. They're saying 8 on PS5, about 15 or so on the Xbox um, Series X. But um, so far, the only game that's coming out right now um, that to pick up um, 
so far it's like dirt five it's going to be 120 frames per second as you can see here we got the screenshot here as you can see to the naked eye looks you know, kind of the same but if you look at it really good you look at that 120 um frame rate per second there you'll see just how clean it is you know in the detail and compared to that 60 frame 60 looks nice but just look at the detail you can see it's less fog less smoke on that turn there here on dirt five i mean it's it's just looking immaculate it looks nice it looks clean playing on 120 frames per second i mean no i do not own the game i don't own this gen console yet reason being why is because i am waiting for a nice next gen game exclusive to drop and so far there's now not a none not one i mean it's one on ps5 but i wouldn't call that exclusive because that game's also on pc so you can't be an exclusive is if, if i can pay on pc or pay on console that's pretty much the downfall why a lot of you no know, people knock xbox so much because you got games like halo and gears it's exclusive to Xbox, but you can go over to PC and play them and play them at a higher frame rate, possibly. So, how to achieve this 120 frame per second? You're going to need to get a new TV. Yes, just how when the Xbox um, 360 came out, it was able to play on the standard TV and HD, but in HD, it, it was mind blowing. You got to see the game, how they're meant to be played. Now, I'm gonna be real with y'all, cause it's the keeping it real show. To be real, I was playing on a bubble TV when I got my 360. I got my 360 day one, November 22nd, 2005. I got it day one, and I dropped. I had it pre-ordered, got it, went, went to pick it up that morning from my job, cause I was working at a game store at the time, had it pre-ordered. Guy got home playing NBA 2K6, and I'm like, it's the same game. I'm like, it's the same game, like, nothing different. But at the store, we're playing on the LCD monitor. That's up to uh, went to um, Lee 720. And I'm like, this is a way better than mine. And I'm like, telling my manager, I'm like, yeah, it was the same game. He's like, no, it's not. No, it's not. Another dude we know who bought 2K6 on 360 and launch. He returned his. He he returned it. He traded it in. Actually, he was like, man, it's the same game. Like, I can't handle. I don't want this. It's, it's the same game. I mean, like, no, no, it's not, no, it's not, no, it's not. So my manager came to my house one night after work and he seen how I was playing on a, on a regular bubble TV. He was like, dude, no wonder homie traded his game in. It, it's the same game on the regular TV. He's like, oh, no, we got to get you like at least a cheap LCD monitor so you can game in, in high def. And so I believe after I got my 360, you know, it took me like two years to get the HD because at that time on you know, HD TVs, they weren't as cheap as they are now. So, man, I went back and played every game over. Pretty much, I played Gears of 1-1 one over. I was playing, like, every game I had beaten, got the cheating score. I went back, played it again, just to see it in high def. Now, I was like, just, just amazed. I was like, man, I was missing out. So, yeah, in order to get that full experience of playing on 120 frames per second, you're going to need a TV that's, or a gaming monitor that's capable of that, 120 hertz now it's not gonna be cheap to do after doing research the cheapest tv on the market uh, regular price is 750 for a 4k television that goes up to 120 hertz now i mean right now honestly it's no pressure into getting a new television that goes up to 120 just to play a handful of PS5 and a handful of Xbox um, One X, I mean, Xbox Series S games. It, it's not, it's no rush at all. Like, down, I'll say maybe 2022, um, when there's more 120 hertz TVs on the market, and possibly around the holiday time, that Black Friday time, it'll be some like around like three, four hundred, maybe for like a 40 inch or something, be able to be able to grab, which is cool because right now it's not that many. And the price tag is ridiculous. I mean, it, it's bananas, man. I mean, unless, unless you, uh, if you got it, go for it. Go, go grab a uh, a nice um, TV. You know, it's the nice Sony or LG. You know, 120 hertz to game on it if you have it, or grab a gaming monitor. I mean, I ain't gonna knock you if you got it. Go, go for it. But those of you like me, you know, 
if you go drop 500 on this system, you may not have another five or six or seven or 800 drop on another television. The game on when so all, not all the games are playing at 120 for the most part. The games is out now. Pretty much they're all gaming at uh, playing at 60 frames per second, with the exception of it was what Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition. Um, you had Call of Duty's playing uh, at 120 listed on the Series X. Uh, they had Halo Infinite listed, but that game didn't even come out, so I don't know why they listed it. Um, uh, you had Destiny 2 listed at 120 frames per second. You had Dirt 5, obviously, as you can see here, it's up. Dirt 5 is up. 120 frames per second so it's not that many it's not necessarily needed right now but down the road when the market produces more televisions that can handle that then we're going to see more games out coming in at 120 for right now the most part 60 it is because man to my left here man i'm getting on with samsung you know 60 hertz I mean, down the road, yeah, I'm gonna get a 120, but I don't need for it right now. But yeah, this is your boy Jay. I'm out here, y'all. Till next time, y'all have a good one. Peace.